kindergarten friends. Today we are going to be reading some sentences. I'm so excited because you guys have been working so hard this year to learn all of the letters, all of the sounds, and now you're ready to start reading. So we're going to read some sentences together first, and then I'm going to let you read all by yourself. So very exciting. All right, so first we're going to go over how you read a sentence. So when we read a sentence, first we want to look at the words, and then we read the sentence, and then we always go back over it and put it all together. That's what good readers do. So let's look at this first sentence together. So the sentence, this is the first one right here. And we know it's a sentence because it starts with an uppercase letter and it ends with a period. We always read right from the first, from the uppercase letter to the period, and that's a whole sentence. So even if the sentence goes on to a different line, it stops at the period or the question mark. So let's read this first sentence. Watch me do it first. So the way I do it is I'm going to tap out the word. So tapping team is ready. So I'll just say ready. Tim. Tim. Person's name. Tim has, has, Tim has a, wait, let me tap out this word. R -a oh, and there's a diagram. So if I see that to help me remember, I can underline it. So let's tap that out again. Ready? R -a -sh. Rash. Remember with that diagraph, I use two fingers. So let's go back and read it again. Tim has a rash. There we go. And then we read the whole sentence. So good readers, when they're reading, they scoop their fingers up. Tim has a rash. So you scoop it and read it like a good reader. All right, we have one more sentence. So the next sentence is a little bit longer. And I know that because it has an uppercase letter at the beginning to tell me I'm starting a new sentence, and it has a question mark. This is asking a question at the end of it. So I'm gonna read all the way to the question mark. And that's how I know I got to the end of the sentence. So I started at the uppercase letter and it finished at the question mark. Ready? So let's tap out the sentence. So d i d did j a oh and there's a diagraph j a k jack little jack r a sh did jack rush that was a hard word to and I keep going ready g Let's go back and remember so we don't forget. Did Jack rush to get the, let's tap out this last word, ready? B, a, s, bus. And then we go back and read the whole thing. Did Jack rush to get the bus? And since I'm asking a question, my voice goes up a little bit at the end. So did Jack rush to get the bus? So that's how you read your sentences. You tap out your words. And then you, well, first you start at the uppercase letter, tap out those words, and you stop at the period, and you always go back and read the whole sentence over again to make sure that you understood what you were reading. Okay? All right, so now it's your turn to read a story. You're going to read a story called The Codfish. It's a little bit of a silly story, and you're going to read that. And as you're reading it, I want you to stop. Uh, start at the uppercase letter, stop at the period, and on each page, you're gonna see a big blank space at the top, and I want you to draw a picture. So I'll show you in just one second. All right, friends, so today we're gonna read a story called The Codfish. So just like we practiced when we were reading our sentences at the beginning, I want you to practice reading each sentence, and then you're going to draw a picture of what you read. So remember, a sentence starts with a capital letter, like here, and it ends at the punctuation, like this period. In this story, we're also going to see another type of punctuation, which is right here. And it's, this is called an exclamation point. So when we see that while we're reading, we read that with excitement. So we're excited about what's happening at that part of the story. So when you're reading that, I want you to try to practice and make your voice sound excited. And then after you're done, you're going to draw all the pictures. So what I want you to do right now is pause the video and I want you to read it all by yourself. And then when you're ready, you can hit play and listen to me read the whole thing. 
That way you can hear me read it as well. So now go ahead and pause it. And when you're ready, read it to yourself and then click play again to hear me. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, friends, great job reading that all by yourself. Now I'm gonna read it to you so you can listen to me. And then if you didn't already draw your pictures, then you can illustrate. So this story is called The Codfish illustrated by you because you're going to be the illustrators and draw all the pictures. So let's go here to page two. Ready? Jack had a net to get a codfish for Jed, the cat. Jack, now we're going to go to page three. Jack sat on a rock with his net. Jed sat on a log. The next one on page four. Jack had the luck. He was quick with the net. He got the codfish. Jed had a dish of fish. Yum. All right, there you go. There's our story about Jack and Jed. So go ahead and I want to see all your beautiful pictures. So send them to me so I can see them. Bye, friends.